All right. Uh, now, what we are going to look at is we are going to learn in terms of how can we calculate the number of years in this particular problem, right? Now, let's see what we have. Now, they say how many how many months will it take? Uh, will it take uh your Justin to save for his motorbike if he is able to invest eight hundred at an interest rate of fourteen percent per annum compounded? uh monthly right and the motorbike costs uh your forty two thousand right now we want to calculate in terms of how many months uh is uh justin supposed to save uh the 800 rands so that he can be in a position to purchase that particular uh, motorbike now let's start what we are given here is we have the amount of money uh, that the the motorbike uh cost which is what which is forty two thousand isn't it so and now what else do we have we have the principal amount which is the money that uh he uh he is uh opting to invest or the money that he is investing which is uh the eight hundred rand and now uh what else we have we also have the interest and the interest in this case it is going to be what uh, it is 14 uh percent right and this is going to be what this is same as 14 over 100 which is this is going to be 0 0.14 now the compounding period is 12 so this is going to be over 12 because and uh, the interest that is being received it is received each and every after 12 months so we want to calculate in terms of for how long or for how many months is uh justine uh supposed to save uh, uh, for this uh, particular motorbike. So this is going to be A is equals to P into 1 plus I to the power of N. Now we have the accumulated amount, which is the money in uh, that the motorbike cost, which is 42,000. And the amount of money that he invested, 1 plus the interest, which is 0 0.14 over the 12 months period, uh, that is going to, uh, receive the interest then this is going to be n right now what is it that we are going to have then now we are going to start here we are going to divide by uh 800 and divide by 800 this side and then we're also going to come this side and divide by 800 right so if we are dividing by 800 this side what we are going to have is basically we are going to have 52 this is 52 comma 5 right so this is going to be 52,5. And now if you're going to add, if you are going to add this, uh, you know, this bracket here, what you're going to have, you are going to have 12,14 over what? Over your 12 and all this to the power of what? To the power of N. And now after here, what we then going to use is we are then going to introduce your logs, right? We are going to introduce the log uh, exponents, right? So now according to the law of log, uh, now, for example, let's say uh, you are given that, uh, let's, let's say you are given that you are probably having 2x uh, is equals to, uh, let's say, 5. And you are required to calculate this five. So according to the law of log, right? So for you to, uh, you know, uh, write your x here, your x is going to be equal to log base. Now, which means this is going to be your base of that particular exponent. So this is going to be log two into five, right? Are we together? So then this is how you then going to punch in your calculator and calculate your log. Now, similarly here, look, you are having M here. You are having 52,5 here. You are having 12,14 over 12 here. Isn't it so? So what is it then that we are going to have as our log? So this is going to be now what? N is equals to log base. Then the base is going to be 12,14 over what are uh, over 12 and this value it's going to be what 52 uh it's going to be 52 comma what uh comma five right and therefore the n that is going to be there it is 341 
comma what comma four seven which means uh basically comma four seven which means basically uh the number or rather the number of months in which uh justin <clears throat> needs to invest this amount of money it is going to be what it is going to be you are going to round this to the nearest month so therefore this is going to be three uh four two months right which is going to be uh 342 months